guys, welcome back to my channel. That was awkward. <laughs> but hello, um, as you guys can tell by the title, I am filming today um, and doing a quick little tutorial on products from KBD Beauty. Um, I don't know if you guys know yet, but they are actually in Ulta Beauty now, which is so exciting. I love Ulta, that's a great team to be a part of, so congratulations to KBD Beauty. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> So without further ado, I'm going to walk through this video with you guys, walk or roll, you know, or glide. <laughs> I'm going to glide with you guys through this video and I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I created a little ombre eyeliner look going on right here um, with some of these awesome, awesome products. So I'm super excited to share these with you guys. Okay, so starting out, we have the 24 hour super brow. This is a brow pomade. This is a long wearing pomade you guys i first of all for us quads out there i want to say how easy these um pack this packaging is because of the um decoration that it has on top i don't know if you guys can see that right there do you see how it has that it's beautiful packaging it says kvd and then there is some decor around it um a lot of packaging for quadriplegics is very difficult for us to open but because it does have this here um it's easy to turn and open it and i feel like i can actually seal and close the containers a lot easier and tighter to trap the air from not getting in here so i use a little bit of this i have filmed another video using the same pomade you guys this is so nice it is so creamy they have many many shades of this i will insert clips and photos while i go through this video as well but um they have this one here that i use for my brows and this is a medium brown and as you guys can tell super quick super easy brow to do i have many tutorials on this but let me tell you guys, this pomade is literally stands by what it claims to do. It's very long wearing. At the end of the night, me taking off my makeup, I definitely need to use a deep makeup cleanser to remove it because uh, it just sticks and it feels good. It feels lightweight. Okay, so that is my brows. And then I went ahead and prepped my eyelids and got them ready for uh, my eyeliner. For eyeliner, I started off with Satellite Blue. It is this shade here. Again, loving this packaging it you guys look at how little amount I used because a little bit goes a long ways so I started with the shade in the inner corner of my eye and kind of mapped out where I wanted my eyeliner to go and more importantly how thick I wanted my eyeliner to be so I definitely knew I wanted it to be a bold statement so I did it a little bit thicker than I would with a normal black eyeliner and I brought this shade about two-thirds of the way out so that it can meet up with the next shade that I used Okay, so the next shade I use is Lemmy Green. It is this beautiful shade here. And I use this shade on the outer corner of the wing. So what I did was start from the outer corner of my eye and build a straight line out to then bring it back in to match up with that blue and I filled it in. Now to get both of these colors to blend together was quite simple. I'm going to use whatever product is left on the pencil brush from the green liner and you're going to tap it onto the blue where the green and the blue meet. Now I was hesitant to go in with another shade. I kind of wanted to have like some purple or something bold going on but I also did a look with some of the purple shades. I did purple and white which I will show a clip of that as well. Um, I did a little bit more intense of a graphic uh, liner with this one. I have never taken my liner above my lash line and I did that this time and it was super easy and so fun to do. So then I went in with the infamous Locket foundation. This is golden. I did do a little bit of a side by side on my face, um, but how I applied this was actually with the sponge. Um, I picked up this, uh, the product from my hand and placed little dots all over my face and then I blended it out super easy with the sponge and as you guys can tell, um, it covered up some of the redness that I have and some of the blemishes on my face. So definitely love and appreciate a foundation that does that, right? 
I then went in with a little bit of concealer and to set my concealer I used the Lock It Setting Powder. Um, this is in Translucent. I really, really enjoy how fine milled this is. It's super thin, it's light, it's airy, um, and it definitely brightened up. Even though it says it's translucent, you can see in the video clips, it definitely brightened up my under eye just a tad bit, which this girl can always appreciate because y'all can see before and after I have the darkest under eye circles and they are pain in the butt. Let me tell you, they have a huge pain in my freaking rear. I also did something that I haven't done in a while and I felt a little adventurous with uh, this setting powder. So I went ahead and I carved out and prepped my face for a little bit of a sharper contour going on. So I went ahead and set that down and then I picked up the shade in light contour palette. You guys. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many of these I have used in my lifetime of my makeup career. I have used so many of these and I hit pan all of the time. And I also appreciate the packaging because can y'all how easy was that to open? Okay, so for this palette, I actually used it for a few little reasons. I did not only like bronze up my face and contour with it. I also use it to contour and use as a shadow for my crease on my eye to prep my eyelid. And I really started that on the outer corner, brought it in towards the inner corner and brought it up towards my brow. I really wanted to have a little bit more of a definition going on right on the inside here. And then I did not forget to bring it out uh, towards the brow um, being a little bit messy with this was totally fine. Um, I just wanted like some like just some definition going on, but I knew I was going with the wing, so I brought it out towards the brow and um, the temple of my my head. Okay, my head. For the eye look, I use the shade Shadow Play, which is this middle one right here. And for the lid, I used Lyric right here. That is the middle, more yellow shade. I use that to set my eyelid because all I had was concealer and setting powder on it. So I just wanted to brighten it up just a little bit more. Now for the face, I use the shade Subconscious, which is this more um, gray tone right here at the top. And I just blended that out, um, bringing it over the translucent powder that is there. That is a trick that I like to do to help blend everything a little bit better so you don't have such a harsh line. Um, I like to set down the powder and let the powder blend in with the contour shade to um, just make like this nice uh, blended look here. And I brought it all the way up the temple and of course on the chin as well. All right. So then I went ahead and put on a little bit of mascara and got my eyes ready for the next step. I know I wanted to do something in the waterline and this is where I was like, oh, I'm gonna do purple. But then I was like, mm, let me try out these cake pencils. So this is something that I have yet to have tried until today. Um, so creamy and um i know many of you guys may know this who have followed me for a while i have severe dry eye in this eye so this eye is always leaking and i literally uh went to dab my eye dry with a napkin after applying this and it did not transfer onto the napkin which makes me so excited because every time i you know fill in my waterline with the color it tends to bleed down my face <laughs> it's awful <laughs> And lastly, every time I've ever hosted a giveaway on any of my social media platforms, I have always, always given it, given away a Lolita liquid lipstick. So that's what I'm wearing today. It is my favorite, my, my favorite formula. I love this shade. It is perfect. I also love Lolita too. Those are my two favorites. And anyone who has followed me on Instagram and has participated in my giveaways know that there's always always a KBD beauty lipstick. So I first started off with the lip liner and I'm gonna show you guys this one here. Super creamy and as you guys can see me apply it, it was just like swipe, 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 swipe and I was done. And this shade is Hawk Wind. Hawk Wind. And of course, like I said, 
I went in with a Lolita liquid lipstick. I literally completed this entire look with one dip. I literally pulled it out of the container and swiped it all over my lips. They're highly pigmented, um, easy to apply, super smooth. Uh, definitely, you guys, my go-to liquid, liquid lipsticks. They are amazing. And you guys, something super awesome about these products is that they are all vegan and they are cruelty free 100 percent. so that is another little cheer can we get another cheer ah. <laughs> so again you guys don't forget to shop kbd beauty at your local ulta beauty store i love you ulta <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys in the next Mwah. <laughs>